Hello, my name is Edgars and I made this skull out of cardboard. And in this video, I will show you how I did. First of all, I printed all patterns on the paper, then cut them out roughly around the shape to save some cardboard space. Last two pattern pieces I wrote the part number on, on them with hand to not lose part number after I cut them out because the original numbers are bigger than parts itself. It's time to glue them to the cardboard. I used a glue stick and applied it on the other side of the shapes line and pierced holes using all market places for drill holes. Drill holes, uh, drill hole places must stay visible after I will tear off printed pattern from the cardboard. cut parts out of cardboard following the line on pattern. When the part is done, I tear off printed pattern and write part number on the cardboard part. time to drill some holes. First of all I drilled holes in the baseboard. At this time for pattern I used one of the cardboard pieces. To make it precise I drilled one hole and put the stick in it uh, to not allow part to move away from the first hole. It must stay in the same place. Then drilled second one and again put the stick in it. And at this time part didn't move at all and I could drill the third hole. After it was done, I drilled all other cardboard parts. you can see unnecessary cardboard but I fixed it cutting it off with a knife. It 
it's time to glue it all together I used spray glue I didn't uh, glue the first part of the baseboard because board will come off later I applied glue to the bottom side of every next part till the skull is complete It already looks cool, just need to remove baseboard and cut off the sticks. I wanted to see how it will look in black color, so I spray painted it. For final result I wanted it to, to be as smooth as possible, so I took the sandpaper and started to sand it down. I was done with sanding, I took the varnish and coated the skull to make its surface harder. even more smoother I put on the putty but before sanding it down I looked at it and start to think maybe leave it as it is because it looked very nice and again back to sanding I 
sprayed it with spray putty. With primer. Painted the eye and nose cavities with red paint. At the end, painted it black and put a few layers of clear coat on it. And this is the final result. Thank you for watching my video and link to patterns you can find in the video description.